Good morning. How are you this morning? That's good. If you were to pick a color, what color would you pick? I'm going to pick purple today. Wait, that's black. Purple. And today's comfy cozy day at school. So you're supposed to be wearing your comfy, clo comfy clothes. I'm wearing like a sweatshirt. So that's comfy. What are you wearing today? Okay, the weather, the what the weather, the date. The date's going to be exciting today. You know why? We talked about April showers bring a new month's flowers. So I'm going to turn the page. It's a new month. What month is it? It's May, that's right. And it's Friday dance. Woo, 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 woo. So there you go. It's Friday. <clears throat> and it's the first day of May. There it is. May. And the year 2020. 2020. Good stuff. What's the weather today if you look out your window? We still don't have that sun here. I'm waiting. Maybe it'll come out today, later today. There's the Blue Mountains. A little bit colder than yesterday. <clears throat> yesterday I went for a walk. It was quite... The temperature was great. And Meaford is the same. Four degrees. Oh dear, there might be some rain tomorrow. But it's supposed to get sunny today, so that's good. Just in time to go for a walk. <laughs> okay. In the news, um, they're going to vote today on the $9 million fund to support students. And the minister was on the news this morning talking about not only can you get the $1,250 if you're students, but if you volunteer, you can also get a bursary at the end of the summer. So if you volunteer 100 hours, you get a $1,000 bursary. If you volunteer 300 hours, you would get 3,000 and up to 500 hours and you would get a $5,000 bursary. So that's significant. And I guess they're encouraging people to go work on farms to feed Canada. So that would be great. Ford, they're still working on helping the elderly in the nursing homes and trying to make sure that they're getting enough support and also a slow start that yes some provinces are starting to open but it will be a slow start and we're going to take it um, slow and steady and make sure that the curve continues to go down a good news story was people are painting rocks all over canada so that would be a nice 
art project to do if you're so inclined. So you could find a rock and you could paint a message on it. You could paint a thank you, you could paint a heart, you could paint a rainbow, and it would be in uh, thankful appreciation for our frontline workers. So that's a, a nice story. The comic today. Let's see how Charlie Brown is doing with the spelling bee. Okay. So there he is. He's in the classroom. And he says, I guess I really don't have to worry. All the words in the first round of spelling bees are usually quite easy. That kid sure got an easy one. In a way, I'd almost like to start off with a hard one, you know, to kind of shake up the other kids, to sort of let them see who they're up against. I feel strangely calm. Oh no. Here it comes. It's my turn next. Here's my first word in the spelling bee. Maze. Yes, ma'am. That's an easy one. M-A-Y-S. Ah! So, not May as in the month May, which it is today. That's hilarious. I didn't even plan that. But maize as corn is maize. So it is an easy one, but he got the wrong maize. He should have asked to hear it in a sentence. There you go. Oh, Charlie Brown. Okay. Birds that I've seen. Just standing outside, standing at my window in my bathroom, I saw uh, morning doves, golden finch, and grackle. It's pretty cool. It's very, very birdy around here. We've got so many birds. I love it. Um, and last night, there was a Willie Flecker at the bird feeder and a grackle came and scared it off because they're a bit of pushy bird they they're a little bit bigger and they have a big sound and the little the little woodpecker just kind of went down on the deck and waited for the grackle to leave and then it came back and had some some seeds at the bird feeder so i'm glad that it still got to eat. So the item yesterday was this. And I was pretty sure that you guys would know what that is. If you said birch bark, you're right. It's a really nice piece and it was just lying in the ditch. Connor loved birch bark in, whenever we went camping. Is when if you put it on the fire it crackles and he thought it was really nice. So he would tear off all the birch bark from all of the wood that we would purchase at the campground and he would make a little pile and then little by little he would put a piece on. That was his job. Okay and the new item these were all over yesterday, and they were not there the day before. Do you know what that is? Okay, I'm not going to tell you until Monday. I've got it in some water. So hopefully it'll last till Monday. So that's, you have to tell me what that is, and I think you guys know what those are. They're very common. Okay, here's the sound. Are you ready?
I was walking in a mud puddle. Is that what you guessed? That's what it was. Kids love the rain, don't they? Because they can go out, make mud pies, walk around in the, splash around in the puddles. Dogs love the rain too. They really do. Okay, so the life skill this morning is, look at my bed over there. Making your bed. And my bed's pretty easy. So the first thing I do is I take my pillows and kind of lie them all in a row. And then I make sure that this underneath sheet is even. Because sometimes that sheet can get out of sorts. And then I just put my comforter over top. And then I'll come on to this side. And once again, I'll check this underneath sheet. Tuck it in. And then just lie the comforter over top. Technically you could do that. I mean, no one's seeing my bed, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But it is always nice to get the sheets all organized for when you go to bed. Because then it's all nice and comfy cozy when you go to bed. There you go. Okay. Today we're going to talk about another animal at the Toronto Zoo. So I just have to log on. And I didn't do it right, so I had to do it again. Okay. So today we're going to talk about this animal. Do you know what that animal is? A lion. That's right. And we're moving on from... We were on... Let me just go back for a minute. We were looking in the rainforest pavilion. Now we're going to go to the savanna. So the African savanna. And we're looking at the African lion. The lion is powerfully built with a broad head, thick strong legs, and a tail tipped with a tuft of black hair. The body is very muscular, with less bone mass than any other animal comparable in size. Both sexes have large amber eyes, their eyes being the biggest of any meat-eating animal. Lion coloration is general variations of light buff to yellowish, reddish, and dark ochres like a brown. The underparts are generally lighter and the tail tuft is black. Lion cubs are born with brown 
spots on their body, rather like those of a leopard. Although these fade as lions reach adulthood, faint spots often may still be seen on legs and under parts, particularly on females. Male and female lions have cubs and they are different sizes and appearance. Female lions are smaller than males and have uniform colored coats of tawny brown. Females don't have the mane, which is that big, thick hair around the face. Males have a thick, woolly mane that fully frames their face and covers their neck. It varies in co color from light yellow to black. Body colors also vary from tawny yellow to reddish brown. The male can be 1.7 to 2.5 meters in height and weigh 150 to 250 kilograms. So very heavy. And a female is 1.4 to 1.8 meters in height and weighs 120 to 182 kilograms, which is still very, it's a big animal. And their tail can be 60 centimeters to 100, so a meter stick long. They live in grassy plains, savannas, open woodlands, and scrub country. And their diet is prominently prey upon large herds of animals such as wildebeest, antelope, and zebras. They will eat smaller animals like hares and tortoise. However, if prey is really scarce, lions will eat almost anything that they can find, including snakes, insects, and fruit. They also scavenge and eat animals that they themselves, they themselves haven't killed. I didn't know that. Lions have good sight. They have good hearing. They can leap 12 meters vertically and 11 horizontally. Wow. There you go. A lion has 30 teeth, four large pointed teeth, which are their canines and used to hold the prey and to tear their, their food apart. Lions are losing their habitat due to the expansion of human activity, primarily agriculture and human settlement. Lions are almost are also hunted for sport and persecuted as a predator where they come into conflict with domestic cattle and herds. So that seems to be a very big um, reason why a lot of animals are having difficulty. I always thought it was because of tearing down the trees for um, paper products and such, but it seems to be more for agriculture to feed the people because there's so many people now. There you go. So there again is that beautiful mane on the lion. I had such a good picture yesterday. How did I get such a good picture yesterday? That's better. And look at the eyes. Amber, big amber eyes, very muscular. That's the African lion, very cool. Okay. And the next thing I have is a little bit of exercise where you're going to use, I'm going to use a drum, but you could just use your legs. I forgot to get my drum, so I'm just going to get my drum.
Okay. And we are going to try and do some arm stretches with our drumming too. Let me get back further. So if you have a drum, you could use your drum because it is Friday and we do like a dance party. But we're also incorporating some exercise in it. So if you were using your legs, you could just tap on your legs. And you could do this to music. And do your drumming, your beats could go towards the music. So if you just had your legs, it would look like this. So that is actually, if you look that up, it's called Pound, and there are different videos online that you can do, and they're actually standing, but once again, my knee is still recovering from whatever happened to it. It's almost better that once I ice it and that, it is getting better, so that's good. Okay, so that's called Pound, and... They use drumsticks, but I thought it would be nice for drumming because I know one of my students is a drummer and she has a drum. So you could do some arm stretches with your drum. Okay, and that's... Oh, one last thing. Don't forget it. Oh, did you guys see where the lantern is? Right there. Can you see at the end of my elbow? There it is. Okay. Well, it's Friday already again, and I hope you guys have a great day. I miss you, and I will see you on Monday. And happy May. April showers bring May flowers, and it sure did. Look for those dandelions. <laughs> okay, bye.